Nikki. How are you, Blair? I'm great. You look gorgeous. Oh my God, you look gorgeous. Oh, uh, this, I just rolled out of bed really quickly. Well, I do declare. Hey guys, it's Blair St. Clair from RuPaul's Drag Race, and I am so excited to see you at RuPaul's Drag Con in New York City this September 28th, 29th, and 30th. Make sure that if you haven't already to get your tickets at RuPaul'sDragCon.com so I can see you at my booth. Better check me out, because it's going to be major. And make sure that you check out my album, Call My Life, on iTunes today. Literally everybody that, like my friends and everybody that I've told that you are doing my makeup, they're like, oh my God, no way. I know, oh my gosh. I was so freaking excited when RuPaul's DragCon mentioned that we're gonna be doing a Saturday morning makeover. I I think this is gonna be a blast. Don't you, aren't you just really excited? I'm super excited. I'm gonna be St. clair A full <laughs> transformation. Do you see any queens, especially at DragCon, that you're really, really excited to see, especially because of their makeup? Well, you're number one. Oh, well, but of course, darling, but of course. But of course. That's I mean, the correct answer. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's not kid ourselves. <laughs> well, I, I know specifically that you really love Dusty Ray Bottoms as well, and you love her aesthetic. We're very similar in that we have like a, a Broadway background, we have a lot of theatrical training, but um, our aesthetics are very different. So her makeup is a little bit more abstract and theatrical, and mine is a little bit more soft and demure, which are very, very different. Is there anything right. that you like um, specifically about both of our looks? You know, what makes, what's, why do you, are you drawn to both of us? I'm drawn to you two and Roxy Andrews. Is okay, it's a third different but, component. Yeah, Roxy has that like, you know, really like beautiful hair and mm -hmm. like, you know, four wigs on, you yeah. know, <laughs> underneath that. That was epic when she did that. But I love like her lips and stuff like that. Yeah. Like she always does a really great lip. And then with Dusty, Dusty's just like, I fell in love with her personality. Mm -hmm. And that's, and I mean, I loved, you know, she looked beautiful. I loved the dots. That was fun. Yes. I personally, that's personally not my style. So you like guess. to stay a little bit more in the typical makeup box. You know, what you would plan on seeing if you just kind of like know makeup basic 101. Right. Like okay. if I, like with my red carpet looks and premieres and stuff like that, I go, I lean towards your style 100%. I lean towards... Hollywood, glamour, you know, even a little bit of like, I don't know if you can see, I love like a cat eye. Uh, I love a nice cat eye. It elongates your eye, it makes everything look, you know, a little bit more expensive and exquisite. It kind of gives your eye a lifted shape, makes you appear a little bit more awake. Um, so I have a question for you. Yes. Okay, so at RuPaul's DragCon, um, there are obviously queens galore. There's everywhere. There is, you know, drag hurdles, like I, I like to call them. And there's also a lot of drag families. So I actually don't have any drag children. Um, I'm pretty still young, but um, I would love to adopt you into my <laughs> drag family because I think that obviously we're both some theater sisters. We would have so much fun together. But 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 okay. So the thing is, like, you need a name. You need a drag oh name. Oh my God. Mom, Blair just asked me to be her drag sister. Yes! I think I'm a little young still to be a drag mother, but I think we could either be drag sisters or I could be your drag auntie, for sure. And we're getting really close because you know DragCon is September 28th, 29th, and 30th. So we're actually getting really, really, really close to the wire before I get to be to your lovely face. I'm so excited. And I hope you're I'm ready, ready too. too. I feel like I just, Literally, like I'm not BSing you. Like, I feel like I Santa's real. Like that's that's how excited I am. Like I flipped I out. Like, I was so excited what? because when we became friends initially, you know, after I was on RuPaul's Drag Race, and you reached out to me and you said, you know, hey, I'm such a fan of yours, and I was geeked. I was geeked, gagged, gooked inside all the double G's because I was just so I was like, oh my gosh, Nikki Blonsky from Hairspray, the major motion picture, wants to be my friend. Like, she thinks that I'm cool. I was like, you've got that backwards because I, I, I have like idolized you since the movie came out. I want, like what you were saying, I want to do a whole transformation. Like We are going to take care of it, I promise. 
Promise. So You're in good good. hands. You're in good I nails. My... Oh my God, those are amazing. Thank you, darling. <laughs> I'm gonna get mine done, I promise. I'm actually, Saturday, I have an appointment, so I'll probably, sorry, my, my little dog, Rocky, is coming in from a walk. Aww. I have, I have a pug. <laughs> I was actually thinking of making my booth at DragCon, because you know all the queens that you have booths every year. I was actually thinking of having a pet themed booth one year. I don't know if it'll work out this year, but I would love to come to DragCon dressed as a different dog, like, like a poodle and a Yorkie each day. I think that'd be really cute. That's really Isn't that cute. Isn't like a fun idea? That's a really fun idea because now more than ever, like on Instagram, like everything is dogs. Everything. Yeah, yeah like dog videos and all that stuff. I think that would be brilliant. My dog is a French gen, so he's half French Bulldog and half Boston Terrier, which I had never heard before until getting him. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> Sorry, my dad's like telling me, put, pull the light. Oh, I see what you mean, this hey, thing. Uh, oh. oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, no, you're good, you're fine. Uh <laughs> But yeah, I have um, I have a pug, so they're relatives to your little. Um, do they're you say sisters. We, they're sisters too. Yeah, they're sister too. So we're sisters. They're sisters. We're sisters. They're sisters. We're all sisters. Exactly. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, and I just can't wait to come up with the name. I'm I know like, we're getting very literally close. Literally dying because I want it to be close to yours. I'm so excited because. People have always just known me as Tracy Turnblad, mm -hmm. but I am so excited to show all these people a whole different side of me. Of course. That they, you know, really don't know. So I thank you for helping me, you know, just explore all my creativity. I definitely think that we are going to bring out the best of all your creativity. I think people are gonna look at you and be like, she's not just Tracy Turnblad. And I'm so excited to see what Nikki Blonsky and what your new drag name is gonna be. They're gonna announce that at RuPaul's Drag Con really, really soon. And you know, just they're just gonna love you even more. Well, the Saturday morning makeover panel better be the most attended panel at RuPaul's Drag Con this year in New York City, because we are here to turn the party. We're here to make it clear that Nikki Blonsky is gonna be transformed into a Glamazon by yours truly, and we are just gonna have, oh, we're gonna have the best time. It's gonna be good. And I also have been told that all of our people that ask us questions at the panel can receive a special little gift. So I hope, you know, everyone comes with their questions. I hope they're, you know, thinking of things to ask at the panel because we're gonna give away little, little gifts for our special, our special time together. But it's been so good talking to you today. I can't wait to see you soon. You too. I'm ready to get St. Clair up. I'm, I'm ready to see you soon. I'll talk to you later, Nikki. I love you. I love you. Bye, Sam. Bye. Bye.